honors reflections. And here's what I here's what I qualify as an honors reflection. You did all these on Friday. Now the line's going to be diagonal, and there is no rule. Okay, you're going to have to find the other point on your own. All right, it's, I can't count either. The only time I can count from the line and away from the line is when it's horizontal or vertical. And these are the only two diagonal lines where you have rules for it. Now it's going to be diagonal, no counting, no rules. So how the heck do I figure this out? Let's jump right into it. Uh, just so it doesn't interrupt the pace or the flow of class, calculators out now you're going to need them. Probably the only time in this unit. All right, let's start this up. There's only two examples. So they're going to take us a little bit of time. First example, I'm going to give you A, and I'll give you A prime. Got to find the line of reflection. Where is it? All right, so let's just start by taking a look at those two points. Negative 2, 3 for A, and then A prime jumps to 3, 5. And I totally botched that. Try that again. Negative 2, up oh, 3, right there is A. 3, 5, right there, A prime. Before we start, our, uh, can we all agree as a group here? That's not a horizontal or vertical line I'm reflecting over. Absolutely not. We can all agree there. All right, so where is that line of reflection then? We have to come up with, there's no rule. You don't. Have, please don't do this on your paper, but probably looking at... Probably looking at something that looks like this. It's not any better, but oh well. Everyone agrees? That's what we're looking at probably? All right, so how am I going to find this line? All right, what is the equation of this line? Well, anytime we do an equation, a line comes in what form? There you go. There's a good start. Y equals mx plus b. So that's what my final answer should look like. What do I always need to plug in for in that equation? What always has to have a value to it? The m, which is your slope, and the b, which is your y-intercept. All right, so how do I get these values now? This is why I sounded like a broken record on Friday, and some of you thought it was a little joking, but it wasn't. If I connect a, a prime, I make a segment, correct? What's that line of reflection doing to it? It's bisecting it, and what else do I know about the two? Perpendicular, right? The line of reflection is the perpendicular bisector. That's what I'm looking for here. When it says write the equation, this is just a fancy way of me saying, hey, everyone, find the perpendicular bisector of that segment AA prime. That's what I need your help with now. What is the perpendicular bisector equation for AA prime? Perpendicular bisector equals line of reflection, remember. Line of reflection is always the perpendicular bisector for that segment. All right, you guys said uh, I need this m value. Let's start there. How do I find the slope of my perpendicular bisector? And, I, and this is where I'm stopping. I'm, I refuse to go. This is step one, step two, step three, step four. Let's start thinking about this. How can I find this slope of my line of reflection, which is also a perpendicular, perpendicular, bisector of a a prime here we go how can i find what that slope is i know the two are perpendicular anybody know the slope of a a prime or help can you help me find it can you help me find the slope of a a prime go ahead go ahead in your groups what's the slope of a a prime whether you do change of y over change in x or rise over run what's the slope of a a prime Talk to each other real quick. Slope of AA prime. 16, what do you guys have? Slope of AA prime. Up two over five. So then what's the slope of my perpendicular bisector then, knowing everything we've done this year? If the slope of one line is two fifths, what's the line, slope of a line perpendicular to it? Got to do a little adjustment. Five, flip and change the sign, the negative reciprocal. Good, good work. So we all know our M value. What's the only value we're missing now? The B. Now let me take you back into probably December, November. 
when we did the perpendicular line unit, unit three. Anytime you need to find the y-intercept, here's what I had you guys do. I had you go back to y equals mx plus b, plug in everything but the b value. Plug in for everything except for b so I can solve for it. Oh, wait. I'm pretty confident in m. What can I plug in for m? I'm pretty confident there. What, do we, what can I plug in for m that I'm pretty confident for? We just found it, and that was 26. Two, negative two and a half? Where do we where do we find that? The slope. Negative five halves. Negative five halves, not negative two fifths. Two, I said two and a half. Oh, okay. Sorry, relax. <laughs> negative five halves. What about x and y though? Remember what x and y were? It's a point on the line I'm trying to find the equation of. So what I need is a guaranteed, not one you think looks like it. I need a guaranteed point that's on my line of reflection that I can plug in for X and Y. A guaranteed point. Ah, it looks like it's this. No, a guaranteed point. Somewhere a point that you know is definitely on this line. What's this line again? Right? Everyone agree? Perpendicular bisector. What point do you think I'm going to know on this Line of reflection, we'll keep going, keep going. Ready, 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 boom. I should know that point on it because that's the what of AA prime, midpoint. There you go. Where these two intersect is the midpoint of AA prime. So oh, another formula off to the side. Can you find the midpoint of AA prime? Is everyone seeing this? This point will be on the line of reflection as well. It's on both lines. Uh, anybody want to drop a little knowledge remembering how to find the midpoint? Anybody going to drop it? How do I find the midpoint? Let's go, Maddie. Um, x, x1 plus x2 over 2. Okay, everyone go ahead and do that right now. Add your x's and divide by 2. Add your x's, divide by 2. What do you end up with? Oof. 2, what do we end up with? Uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.5, one half. Yep. So I'll put one half. If you had 0.5, that's fine. Maddie, keep going. What's the other part of the midpoint formula? Everyone, add up your y's and divide by two. Let me know when you get that one. 27 when you're ready. Four. All right, there it is. Okay, are we understanding? This point, one half, comma, four is on AA prime, and it's also on my line of reflection. That's my guaranteed point that I'm going to go back here and plug in now. What's my Y coordinate out of these two? 12. What's my Y coordinate out of these two? And the X coordinate? Times one half. And now we can solve for B plus B. All right, we're almost home. I got the slope. Now you guys are finding the Y intercept for me. 4 equals, oh boy, what's that, negative 5 over 4? And then add it over, right? Solve for B, add it over. When you're ready with the B value, let me know. 16 when you're ready. Two and three fourths? We're doing four plus five fourths in our cap. Okay, I'm adding four to something and you're telling me the answer is two, two something. How do I move this over? Four plus five fourths. How can it be two and something when it's already a four and I'm adding something onto it, right? You're adding five fourths to this side, right? So I'm doing four oh, yeah. plus five fourths. So that I don't think there's any way I could get a two in something. Sorry, it's a five, eight. five and one fourth, 5.25. What's another fraction I accepted there? 21 fourths, whatever. 
okay? Whatever you want. Five and a quarter, 5.25, 21 fourths, either one's fine. All right, what's my line of reflection now? What's the equation for my line of reflection? Put them both together and put them both together, 21. Uh, y equals negative five uh, over two plus. Oh, you're missing something. Oh, X. Yep, got to have that in there. It's a horizontal line. Yeah. And then plus five and a quarter. Yep. There it is. Are we, are we seeing how the midpoint played in here? The midpoint is a point on both the lines, and it's a point that's definitely on the line of reflection, so that's why I plugged it in. Questions? We haven't even got to the tough one yet. That was the easier of the two, believe it or not. Find the line of reflection if it's not horizontal or vertical. We're good? All right, now what I want to do is let's reflect over a diagonal line, which I don't know the rule for. I, by the way, I'm going to do it on this because it's easier for me if I blow it up so I can write a lot of stuff in other than write it on that little piece of graph that you have there. All right, so I got 2, 4 here, 2, 4. And I'm asking you guys to reflect that over this line that is definitely not horizontal or vertical. Why? It's, it's not 2, 4, it's yeah, 1, 4, right? And why is that totally off? Where did I get that from? <laughs> Why is that even on there? How about that? Act like you teach honors. Right? All right, here we go. Now we're good. Uh, can I take a peek what that line looks like? It'd be nice if I could see that line that I'm reflecting over. Uh, what's the y-intercept? Two, I'm going to graph this, you know, using the y-intercept and slope like you guys used to do back in the day in algebra one. So two, what's the slope of the line? One half. Anybody remember where to go from here? Get a couple more points. Kyle? Up one over two. Up one over two. Yeah, there's the line I'm going to reflect over with you guys right now. Where's AA prime? There's no counting. Hey, hey, no, hey, hey, down one over one, down one over one. I did it. No, you didn't. Okay, because I hate to break it to you. I don't know if those are congruent. They probably don't look it. All right. And there's no guarantee either that your image A prime is going to land right on a point. It may land somewhere in between. All right, that's also an option. So don't count. We don't count. Here. All right, buckle up. Here we go. How are we doing this? How are we going to find where A prime is here? Oh boy. Ugh. All right, let's, um, you don't have to do this on yours, please. Uh, I'm just gonna take a guess, all right? Just take a, let's see, A, A prime, maybe somewhere, I don't know, it doesn't even matter if I'm right or wrong. A, A prime, somewhere there. Okay, so how can I find the coordinates of that? That's what we're looking for. Drop some here. What do you got? What do you know already? What's going on here? Something you've already learned here about that line of reflection. Anything else? Sky? Uh, a, a prime on the perpendicular bisector. So, yep. What I can, if I connect these two right now, everybody, if I connect these two, they're what to each other? Everyone agree they're perpendicular and they bisect each other. Okay. Now, here's the moment of truth here. What's that point I just put in green there? The what? Midpoint. That's the midpoint, right? So let me ask you this question and be honest with me. We, net, we know point A is 1, 4, right? Everyone agrees? Let's say you knew what that midpoint was. You knew what it was. Would you have enough information to find AA prime now? If you knew what the midpoint was, and point A, could I do a little skip method like we did back in uh, unit one when we liked each other to find what AA prime is? Could we do that? All right, so here's the goal. You get the midpoint, we're good to go. 
You get the midpoint, we're good to go. So now the question is, how do I find that midpoint? How do I find that darn midpoint? And the answer is going to be, unfortunately, we're going to have to use some of your algebra one knowledge from last year. However much is there. All right. Everyone sees my line of reflection? Everyone sees AA prime. You guys probably did something last year where you found where two lines intersect. Yes, no? Anybody remember? Let me give you a little recap. You plugged them in, y equals, right? You plug two equations in, you graphed them, and then remember you using your calculator to find where it was. Let me a little second trace. I'll go through this again, intersect, and then this little spider came up. Yes, no? A little re, yeah, uh, coming back to you. That's what we're going to have to do. Where do these two lines intersect each other? And I'm going to have the calculator to help. But what's the problem, though? When I go to y equals, I'm only going to plug in how many equations right now? Here's the only one I can plug in, the one they gave me. y equals 1 half x plus 2. I don't have anything to plug in yet. Can you guys help me find that equation? Can you guys find the equation of AA prime so I can plug it in my calculator? Let's help. Let's do it. Let's do it. I need that second equation to figure out where they intersect. So first thing I'm going to have you guys do with me, find the equation of AA prime. What's its slope? Can you find its slope right away? Talk in your group right now. What's the slope of AA prime have to be? What's the slope have to be? What'd you guys come up with? Eight. What's the slope of AA prime? Negative two. And if anybody's wondering how we got that, one half for the line of reflection, negative reciprocal, negative two. All right. What about its Y intercept then? How about its Y intercept? We just did this in the last problem. I know the slope is negative two. Do you guys know a point on AA prime? Do you guys know a point on AA prime? I gave it to you. What was it? One four, it's point A. I know a point on AA prime, it's one four, right? Point A is one four. So what do I plug in for the Y then? Five, what's the Y value here? Four. four, X value, one. All right, everybody solve. And your B value, 20, negative 6, positive 6. Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know why I wrote it down. <laughs> All right, what's the equation of AA prime then? What's my equation of AA prime? Uh, 14, Y equals? Okay. So does everyone see? We got y equals negative x to y equals negative 2x plus 6. We have y equals 1 half x plus 2. I want to know where they intersect because where they intersect is the midpoint, and then I can do my skip method. So let me review slowly now. Everyone go back to your calculator. Go to your y equals screen. Make sure you have both plugged in before we go anywhere. Negative 2x plus 6. You can look at the graph if you want. My blue line up here is one, my line of reflection, and then part of my red line is AA prime, okay, part of it. All right, how do I you have the calculator tell me where they intersect? I go to second trace. It says calculate on the top. Second trace, everybody, second trace. And I don't think it's a big secret which one I'm going to have you pick. What do you think? This guy back there. This guy. Uh, you want me to spot you the P again? <laughs> That's what I thought. Intersect, number five. I'll do the jokes around here. And then everyone has the spider that comes up. Now it says, please put it on the first curve where the points where the lines intersect. So I'm on the blue line. 
I go over as close, if not on the point of intersection. There we go. Enter. It'll say, all right, can you do the same thing for the second graph? And it's already there, so no need to move it. It's already on the point of intersection for the second graph. Enter a second time. And then the calculator is like, all right, I'm going to guess for you. Third and final time. And there's the point of intersection. All right, 1.6, 2.8. Now, whoa, 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 is that A prime? No, that's the what? Midpoint of A, A prime. So we just found point of intersection. And I don't need, I'm just showing you step by step. I don't need to see all this written out like I have it. I'm just making sure everyone knows where everything's coming from was what? What was it again? 1.6, 2.8. Not AA prime, that's the middle of that line segment. Final step we have to do is, all right, A, what was point A again? 24, what was point A? One four. One four. We just found the midpoint, I'll just call it M for midpoint. What was our midpoint, five? Uh, yep, 1.6, 2.8, and now I just gotta refresh your memory on how to find the other point, other endpoint of the segment. Well, skip, I called it the skip method back in September when we did this in unit one. So the first thing you ask yourself, if I go from 1 to 1.6 on the x-axis, 1 to 1.6, how many units are you going? 11, how many units am I going? 0. 0.6. 0. 0.6. Since, since we're in the middle, we got to match it on the other side and go 0. 0.6 again. So A prime will have an X coordinate of 24, 2.2. And let's do the same thing now for the Y coordinates. When you go from four down, down to 2.8, four down to 2.8, where are you going? Three, down 1.2, right? So let's go down 1.2 again. And what's my y coordinate of a prime? 10? 1.6. And unfortunately, there's not really a good check. The best check I can offer is graph this point as best you can and make sure it's on the other side of the line. Okay, if it's on the same side, something definitely went wrong. All right, it should be on the other side of the line if we're reflecting it. Before you get to your assignment, just a heads up, the first problem you're going to do tonight is taking a triangle, I believe it's called CDE, and reflecting it over a line. See what we just did here? You now have to do that for each point. So you're gonna do this three times. All right, you're gonna do, you can't just flip the triangle over in one step. All right, you're gonna have to take point C, do what we just did. Uh, so let me, oh, 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 I believe the equation's y equals three x. So every, like, say you're going to do point E, all of these are going to have a slope of what? D, D prime, C, C prime. All of them are going to have a slope of what if this is 3X? Remember, these are negative reciprocals, right? C, C prime, all negative reciprocals, negative one third. All right, so all your equations, hey, when you go to the graphing calculator in a minute, it should be... First one's always going to be 3x because that's the line you're reflecting over. Next one's going to be negative one third x. You find the y intercept for each of them. Okay? Let's get going. All right, this is not something I would screw around with. Call me over if you're stuck somewhere. Yeah.